Sometimes you have to go away to become famous, and this is so true. I'd like to welcome to our Shaw TV studio, Ishk Bechter. And Ishk, well, first of all, welcome back home to Winnipeg. Thank you very much. Yes. It feels great. Like, I, I try to come every summer because the winter's a little too hardcore for me. It's like everybody who grew up in Winnipeg is like, I'm never coming back next winter. So uh, I'm kind of the same. So yeah, I love being back here, thank you. So a homegrown Winnipeg boy now living in Mumbai, and we have found out that you are a huge hip hop artist and video producer. And okay, so take us back to where you grew up here in Winnipeg and then how you transplanted to Mumbai. All right, well, I grew up um, over here in Winnipeg to an uh, Indian immigrant family. Uh, my parents, uh, I was born and raised in Winnipeg though. My older sister was born in India. So before I could choose my own music, I was listening to my parents' music, which is Bollywood, old school Bollywood music. And then um, when I could choose my own music, I was listening to a lot of the radio, what was on like the top, we had the top six back then, and then the top 10, um, I would l record that and just keep that on blast while I'm sleeping, it's playing, while whatever, I just all about it. And then I slowly, um, then Run DMC came on the scene and BC Boys and LL and that whole second wave of hip hop kind of caught here because New York got the first wave of Grandmaster Flash and Melly Mel and all that. But we kind of like back then the world wasn't as small, like we weren't as inter internet, so to speak, right? From there, after rap came in, hip hop came into my life, I, uh, got into dancing so I became a professional dancer started this dance crew named Fresh Alliance and that kind of turned into this abstract hip-hop group called Freak Show and um, Freak Show we did like I think this city's first hip-hop video on much music was ours and um, there's a black and white one named pa called Patience and uh, there was we were rolling like about nine deep and then slowly it started to we started to get older and like a like a few years I guess went by and and I realized that I wanted to make music for the Indian global community and I figure and I figured there's only one real place to like the biggest place to do that is in Bombay slash Bollywood slash Mumbai as you know it now so I just I just kind of dropped everything and I went there and I still remember the first day I got there, I put all my clothes in, away into the closet and I just sat on the bed and the street was just kind of calling me. I went out on the street and just like, okay, where do we go from here? So, and it slowly took me a while. Like I, I went there on a six month ticket talking about I ain't coming home till I get a record deal. But it took me like two and a half years to sign my first record with Universal India. Wow, and you went there all your family is back here in Winnipeg, so really you went yeah. there They were knowing horrified, nobody. actually. <laughs> they were horrified. They're like, we left that country. It's, it's a tough country. We left it here for you guys and for your future, and now you want to go back. They were like, first they were horrified. They're like, no, don't go, you're, 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 this is a big mistake. And then, they're, and then they kind of changed to the, okay, let's see how long you last. You'll be back with your tail between your legs in like three months. And then, and then please don't go. And like we went through all these phases, and finally I just went. And then um, they were really worried. But then when my st my work started to be shown on TV, and then satellite television started to pick up Indian networks, and then my like you know my work would be shown on TV over here, then they were starting to feel like a little um, like okay at that least. you are going to make a living at this. Yeah. At least he comes home, even if it is through the TV. Yeah. So they were, they were getting, then, and now, like they all were always supportive, so I'm really thankful to my whole family for supporting me, and they still support me, but yeah. How is the industry back there different than in North America? India is the exact opposite side of the world, like Bombay, Bollywood, everything is done, like, very, very different from here. So um, that itself, the chaos, and just understanding where you fit into that chaos, is half of the battle and and to make a product that clicks with the indian psychology is was also a battle of mine like when you go when you when you observe 
the media that comes out of Bombay, like Bollywood, from here, you're like, okay, they're bad haircuts and, and, like, and just loud outfits and really loud movements. Oh, I could do that anytime. Then you go down there and you figure out that it's completely, it's very difficult and there's so many people doing it and you're all of a sudden an outsider. And if you don't know how to relate to the common man who doesn't speak English, Who's, yeah. who doesn't speak English and who doesn't know, who doesn't have the same sense of humor as you, who doesn't have, like, you know, there's a lot of societal norms, cultural norms that are completely opposite. Then you kind of like, okay, now this is a, this is a bigger challenge. But that's where hip hop kind of gave me, like hip hop as being my, my foundation and my backbone to my music. It, the rules of hip hop are simple. Rock your block. So now I'm like on a block all the way on the other side of the globe, but I'm like, okay, hip hop taught me that I gotta rock my block. If I don't know how to rock my block, then I shouldn't be doing music, I should pick something else. Right. Because every, every rap artist or every um, hip hop artist has, like you get a push from your own community, from your own, like immediate, like I mean back in the day, it was like your own housing project. Like all the Nas and Jay-Z, they all came up from their own like a, a housing project. So then I just kind of took those examples and I was like, okay, I, I, I've come all the way here, I gotta crack the formula. So then I just started to keep, I, I just kind of stayed with it. Now we're putting you behind the camera. Yeah. You've just directed your first video. Yeah, I just actually released, I directed a few videos. Uh, my second one too, I handed it in the day before I left India. But uh, my first one that I directed, uh, just um, released on YouTube about a week ago. It's called Pyar Ka Hangover, which is like a hangover of love. It, the singer is Ishita Sarkar. And it was a blast to direct. Like, I mean, I've assisted on all my videos. Like, I've shot probably maybe uh, 12 to 15 videos. And I've assisted on every single one of my videos, wrote for the videos, and I'm the chief editor of all my videos. Like, I don't even use hands. I don't use an assistant with editing. I do it all myself. So from there, I kind of like, because I know that what the end result is, what the end footage is, I'm like, I'll just, and I, and I can, and I've always been a storyteller, so putting those two things together kind of made direction a natural progression for me. Do you ever sit back and think, this is all so crazy? Like, you could still be back in your Fort Richmond <laughs> neighborhood still yeah. having a nine to five job. I kind of take, I kind of take it for granted that I, um, that I just kind of ran away. I, when I come back home, then I kind of get that feeling. When I see my peers or you know people who I grew up with um, in Winnipeg and you know doing their thing or doing the family thing, then I kind of get that that feel. If not, I kinda, I do kind of just take it for granted that I was meant to kind of you know push this way or push. If it wasn't if it wasn't Bombay, it would be L.A. So I kind of do take it for granted that I that I should have been doing that anyways. Like I was probably a few years late on doing that. That's what <laughs> I tell myself. Wow. So just a really such an interesting story, Ishkan. We only wish you all the best. And remember us Thanks. back in Winnipeg when you're running the red carpet for the I, Academy Awards I will. or something. When I'm missing making a snow fort and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or when I'm missing shoveling my driveway, I will remember the peggers. <laughs>